Hello, vloggity, vlog, vlog, vlog. I'm Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. Welcome back. It is later in the day of Monday. I meant to start the vlog earlier today and I did not, but here we are. So let me just catch you up on this lovely Monday morning. <laughs> we woke up, we went to the gym, we worked out. We hit the weights because the, uh, the, 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 the hot works class that I was gonna do was broken. We went home. We caught up on some work. Well, not even caught up on some work. Just did my Monday check-ins with clients and things like that. Um, then I went to the mailbox and picked up these new lippies that I got. I'll show y'all those later. Um, then I went to Target because I got two new phones this past weekend. I need to get, you know, some screen protectors. My phone cases should be coming in the mail from Amazon this week. Now I'm headed to go meet Kiki um, at Home Goods. So, let's so go. just to update you all on... on where my mind is with this YouTube channel. I want to be consistent because, you know, who doesn't like consistency? Um, so what I'm thinking is every week I will be posting every Sunday. Sunday is my post day. Well, I'm just trying to be my post day. And I want it to be like one week a real estate vlog, one week a week in my life. So you won't get a consistency of like a week in my life. It'll just be like every other week you'll be seeing what's going on in my life. Because honestly, it's not it's not that exciting. It's not that, it's not that exciting. So to vlog a week in my life every week is just kind of like, girl, what you talking about? And then I know a lot of y'all just really like the real estate content. So that is the plan in my noggin. Um, so yeah, last week we skipped a week in the life. So we doing a week in the life. I'm going to pop it up. Let me, let me, let me tell y'all something. Me and Kiara have been friends since the 10th grade and we have never never seen eye to eye on anything and we're supposed to be going to home goods to shop for her house and she don't like this particular home goods that we go to and I think that this particular home goods that we're going to is way better than the other home goods that she she usually goes to like it's way better and it just it just it's comical to me like how can we be such good friends but don't like like we agree on nothing nothing <laughs> let me talk so kiki decided against the home goods oh that home goods are ready we've already discussed yeah let me see the camera it looks good don't it oh. no 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 okay. they're like yeah. this is how the instagram girls be giving a real good video oh, no, that's the Ooh. <laughs> how long you had this, this phone not even a week. Friday. So you ain't breaking none of that, huh? I haven't done nothing yet. So I got a salad, the Cobb salad. Kiki got, what salad is that one? Chop salad. And Chubby over there got um, Costa Rican Mahi. The Costa Rican Mahi with grits. They're drinking the liquors. I'm drinking the water because I'm healthy. What is it y'all about pulling up at home with your driveway into your garage and then you just have to sit for a minute before you actually get out of the car? Like, ain't nobody in my house. I could go up there and sit and still have this relaxed feeling, but it is something about just after you're done driving and then you just park, you put your, I put my brake on. You put your brake on. I get that because I used to drive a stick. So it's just habit that stuck with me. Put my brake on. And then I just sit. Most times my seat warmer is on, even in the summertime, because I <laughs> I like the warmth on my butt. <laughs> I like the warmth on my butt. Um, no matter how hot it is, I just like the warmth of the seat. So my seat warmer be on. Air, my air is on. Cool. But the seat warmer is on. And then I just sit here and I just sit for a little bit. I know I'm not the only one that does this because you see like the memes and everything on, on the social medias about people doing this, but what is it? What exactly is it about the drive to the park to the sit? Like, what is it? If y'all do it, comment down below and tell me your reasoning for doing it. I know some people, like, you know, my friends with kids and things are like, oh, I just, I just take a little breather before I go in the house and have to deal with what's in the house. But for single folks like me, ain't nothing in the house. So what am I avoiding? <laughs> All right, let me get out the car now. All right. Out of the car. In my favorite spot. 
So, truth be told, the only reason I left the house was to go get some setting lotion, wrap, mousse setting spray, whatever, to do my hair because I wanted to do a braid out. I shampooed her earlier, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm in the mood anymore to do it. So, yeah, that's that. Y'all see how long my hair is getting? Ooh, wee. Like, it's a lot of hair. So, we got that. Maybe we'll do that later this week. I do want to show y'all the, don't mind my laundry, I need to put that up, the lipsticks that I bought. Do y'all follow Nima Tang on YouTube? Um, Nima Tang, she has these lip sets with Dose of Colors that she released, I think, like last year. Um, and I just missed the whole wave. I remember when she announced it, but I never ordered. Then I just so happened to be watching her YouTube video the other day, which I was probably like a week late on. Uh, but she said that they had restocked and this was going to be the last time. So I said, why not go support? Because I really like her. Um, so that was a little package that came in. It comes with a lip liner. And it comes with a matte lip liquid comes with a sparkly gloss and I'm not going to do the whole you know this isn't a makeup channel y'all and then it comes with like a satin lipstick and the funny thing about this is that clearly I'm into my oranges right now because my sister and I um spent Saturday together and we went to this place called Mix Blend Bar here in Houston I'll I'll insert some clips or maybe the reel that I made. Um, and we made our own lipsticks and lip gloss. So I made an orange gloss. I'll put this one on for y'all, which I love it. I think orange is definitely going to be my color of the spring, summer. Because all of these are kind of like a brighter orange. And then I got the lipstick which is really pretty as well. And I was like, oh, I made orange and I ordered orange. So I think that's enough orange for the summer. And then I also got the other set. It was just two sets that she did. This is the nude lip set. Oh, and this is actually called Coral from Mima. It's the Coral set, but it looks um, it looks nude. I mean, it looks or orangey, you know? Oh, and I forgot, I got to name the ones that I made at Mix. So this one is called Crazy Carrot. Um, that's a cute name. I didn't come up with these. My uh, my man friend did. And uh, Sweet Tiger. <laughs> those are the two names he came up with. I was like, those are cute. I'm just not good at like coming up with things like that. So named those. And then ooh, ooh. for the nude set, it's really, it's her nude. Nima is... Um, has a very dark complexion. So if you know Nima, you know that, you know, she did this series on YouTube, which is kind of what made her popular, was like the darkest, the dark, it was called the darkest or the dark, whatever, I don't know, but basically she would like try out the dark, oh, it's called the darkest shade, I think. She would try out like the darkest shade of different brands, foundations and things like that and just see how it would match on her skin tone. So this is nude for Nima. Which is clearly, I'm not that deep of dark, but it comes with a little, oh, I had already tried it on so y'all can see, but it comes with a nude lipstick and then it comes with a nice chocolatey brown lip, lip, oh no, this is the gloss, the gloss and then the, um, the matte lip liquid. So, I mean, maybe by the time y'all see this, they might still be available. I don't know, but. I'm glad I got it. I've never had tried any Dose of Colors anything. And um, they feel really good. I tried them all on earlier. They feel really, really great. All right, so that is the catch up from this morning. Now I'm probably just gonna sit here and work. Um, I have a client that I have been in talks with for 
a while now. Um, she's looking to buy an investment property. She had been um, shopping interest rates for a second home, which second home interest rates are always going to be more than just like your primary interest rate. So she had been shopping rates for that for a little while. And I told her, I said, hey, you know, at this point, all rates are pretty much going to be pretty equal and you know rates are just on the rise they're actually higher than when we first talked and that's what i was kind of telling her but anyway so i just kind of tell her like like hey sis it's time for us to start house shopping you know like the rate is going to be the rate so it's either you want this house and we work with the rate that you get and still find a way to keep you within your price point or we we, we move on so i need to do that and then just other work stuff y'all that it's not exciting <laughs> at all. So, talk later. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Andre has arrived. Hello. I just pulled up and look at this girl's utensils. Who who needs a gold fork? <laughs> who needs a gold fork to eat their food with? And then, look at it. It's tapered. It's ta She's got a tapered gold fork to I put in her classy. mouth. I feel classy. She's so bougie. <laughs> I don't understand. What's the difference between that and silver? It's just a color. It's just so like irregular. And then this one is actually a little tarnished. I need to re up. Look. <laughs> I've been eating good. <laughs> God dang. Thanks. Andre is eating my little. I was going to go in on that tonight, but I'm going to bless him with it. I mean, I'm gonna, oh, there's bacon in it. Oh, dang. There's bacon in it. Hey, I forgot. You can have the ravioli in the fridge. It's, 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 you hungry, hungry? No. Oh, well, yeah, that's enough for you. <laughs> enough for me? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I had to force him to come see me. How many times you be over there? <sighs> that response tells you that it's more than enough for him. <laughs> Five minutes away. Six. Six. He be six minutes away. Don't even tell his sister. I said, are you coming up here? I mean, Lexi, I mean, I was going to hang out with the boys. Hang out with the boys when you're six minutes away from your sister's house. Anyways. <laughs> now we know. Now. Oh, did you call me? You called the wrong number. Did I? Oh, sh no, that wasn't you. Uh, it's my work phone. You didn't even call. The old phone is the work phone now? Yes. All right, y'all, bye. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I just finished, as y'all can see, hot work session. I did core today, which I should be doing at least two to three times a week because like most people, I would think, my core is the weakest part of my body, back and front. <laughs> Oh, that felt great. So now, I'm trying to go home, shower, and get ready to start our work day. Alrighty, y'all, uh, we're out of the house. It's 11.22. Need to change my clock in the car. Um, I'm headed to go to work. We have a training class today. So I'm driving 40 minutes away, like I always have to. <laughs> to go to these courses and things and just everything else that I do with my life when it comes to work. But really everything, everything. I'm not even gonna go on my tangent about living in the suburbs. Um, just, living in the suburbs is no longer serving me <laughs> the way that it used to. So, anywho. Um, yeah, I have that to do today. Then I have a nail appointment later. And that's really it. After I came home from the gym, I just um, sent some emails. Clearly took a shower. I forgot to even show y'all outfit of the day. I have on like a nice little button-down shirt. Some, um, so, uh, what do they call these things? Some shorts tights. What are they called? I forgot. And, um, I have on some booties. Um, and y'all know, I think this whole outfit is probably from Zara. Mine is this headband. I think it's from Aldo. And these earrings. 
I don't remember, so we'll just give it to Zara. I'll show y'all my shoes later. Y'all see these. These are oldies but goodies. They're from Zara as well. All right, let me get some music on and drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chandra talked about into true cash buyers. It's a huge shift for someone that's thinking about buying or selling this gear to move them into the world. All right, class is over. Sometimes I'm just really back to this 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 driving thing, commuting thing across the, the, the city of Houston. Whatever. But okay, class is over. Now we are headed back to the north side of Houston. Um and I have a nail appointment. Look at that. It's time to get my nails done. I um stopped going every two weeks and now I go every three weeks so that three week mark y'all see that new girl Woo! that three be <laughs> that three week mark be killing me just looking at like <clears throat> so I cannot wait to get these nails done um and then I am considering I look at this gas tank with my considerations in mind considering going to check on new construction for my clients um, I have one, two, one, two, two, two houses currently in the building stage. Um, and I just want to go ride on by and see how they're looking. One is Sharon and Isaac and then another one is, you know, I don't even think I have this isn't real estate vlog related. What am I doing, y'all? I keep, I keep forgetting. Anyways, um, gonna go get our nails done and do some work. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I was relaxing a little bit. Now it is 6 p.m. And it's time for me to make some reels. So this is my setup. I just used my ring light and a little thing. And I just kind of like batch make a few reels, like four or five at a time. Um, the Insta, the, the Instagram Lord, the real estate related ones, and then I just have them to post throughout the week. Um, so that's what I'm about to do for the next like 30 minutes or so. Who knows? I need to figure out which ones I'm going to be making. Um, do that, and then me and my sister, I think a few of y'all, I don't know, but we are still going through things with trying to get <laughs> my father's estate and all of this figured out in Jamaica. So we have a call with somebody later on tonight to figure out that stuff and that should be it for the day. Done. Did I show y'all my nails? Got my nails done. <laughs> I don't think I showed them to y'all. It's cute, right? A little, a little fun, a little something. <laughs> Bad vlogger. I mean, y'all see little Texas? <laughs> Texas. Bad vlogger, y'all. I, um, <laughs> been ripping and running since 10. Got about the house at 10. It's 11.47. Woke up on the southeast side of Houston. So I had a showing out there, the duplex. Now I just had like five, four. I don't know what I did with my day today. It's just, I just, it feels hectic. But now I'm about to go do a walkthrough for um, one of my clients, inspectors there. And then really, I don't have that. I just, I stacked the top part of my day really heavy with things to do and a whole bunch of calls. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, this is me saying good morning, happy Wednesday to y'all. Um, after this, I'm I'm almost at a quarter tank of gas. We gotta go sit down. I said this gas was gonna last me um, two weeks. It's not. I got this gas on Saturday. It's not gonna last me till Saturday. But... <sighs> gas price is so expensive y'all anyways how are y'all doing this lovely wednesday morning y'all won't see this probably until about two weeks from now but either way how y'all doing yo this cinematic view is something y'all let me just vlog like this for a second actually there's a lot over here that this same builder will be building on in a couple of months so that might be a little area for me i don't mind this area too much it's, you know it's not bad price point is good we'll see. my other phone is just a beeping away we'll see what the price point looks like um when they list 
Um, mm. All right. I think I am. I think I'm pretty much done for the day. It, as, oh, Jesus Lord. Hey, I gave this to her. I'm having a pack of little stuff for the men's game. All right, y'all. Let's go home. All right, look, y'all. I got some faces from my watch. I upgraded my watch, too. And, y'all know, this is like the face that I had on the other one. So, should I do the gold, which is kind of like, it's not goldy gold, but it's not really pinky gold either. Or just the clear. Probably just the clear. Let's see. So, the clear one. That looks good. Let's see the gold. I know I'm more of a gold girl. Then, um, I like gold. That's what I'm saying. Um, and I mean, whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I'm gonna stick with the clear one though for now. All right, I'm chilling for a little bit, posting on the social medias, then um, chill some more. <laughs> Just woke up from my infamous couch naps. I have a call in eight minutes. Um, my client, I order um, my client's gifts to um, make a nice little closing basket for them. So I ordered this client two of these glasses. They say, welcome home, Jay Marshall, which of course are, that's her name. And then I got this rug. Here's the rug. I always do these rugs, but sometimes I just use different vendors on Etsy. I don't always do the same exact print or font. I just kind of go with what vibe I feel like the client may like. And I loved the welcome part of this one, but I am not happy with this. I don't know. I told my friend, <laughs> I told Kier, it feels like jail vibes the way that this was kind of printed out. I think it's the font. And I also think just that the established is too big. But that's just me being nitpicky, I guess. I'm sure she will still appreciate it and, you know, whatever. But I just like when I like things. And I don't, well, really, I like when I love things. And that I don't necessarily love. Anyways, um, did I tell y'all I was fasting? I started... This place is a mess, and I hope y'all don't see it in the background. Somebody told me, don't worry about that, Alexa. Your house is lived in. It's not supposed to be perfect. Which one of y'all commented that one time? And it made me really feel so much better. Because I was like, <laughs> um, But yes, I started intermittent fasting this week. And I've actually been doing really good. Today, I like ate 30 minutes early just because... I was hungry and I didn't have any tea and you know, I wasn't at home this morning. So I just broke my fast 30 minutes early. That's my alarm. Hey Siri, turn off alarm. Um, so I ate about two hours ago, maybe even more now. And that's going to be it for the day. I'm doing 16, eight, you know, intermittent fasting is just basically supposed to help you lose weight without you know, being like too, too difficult, you know, and it's, I've done this before. So we're going to see how I can do week by week. And then maybe I've been making healthier choices and I've been cooking a lot more, but you know, just going to do this for a little while and see how much I can naturally lose without making any real true, true solid diet changes. Um, and just do this. So, I'm going to uh, pour me up a little glass of OJ before in, in, before the next five minutes. So, that can be like the last um, calories that I take in for the day. And then we'll start fasting until, I guess, 7.30 to 11.30.
tomorrow. I'll be fine. Top of the morning, good people. Top of the morning, it's Thursday. We are headed to the gym. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm working out with Next Gen this morning. We have all these activities. Next Gen is my brokerage. We have all these activities all the time, and sometimes they're workouts, but usually they're on the other side of town, which is what's happening today. Um, it's a spin class. It's called Spenga. S-P-E-N-G-A, but I guess it's just, you know, like a different twist on the spin class. So I'm going to go get that in for my workout today. This will be my third workout of the week. I'm proud of myself. I'm trying to at least do four workouts a week. Um, I was trying to get there by 9.30, but it's 9.30 right now. I'm leaving the house a little later than intended because my sister called me needing me to do things. So that kind of slowed me down, but either way, I'll still be there, just whatever. Um, yeah, and then I really think, I really would love for today to be like my off day from work, just kind of chill, not do nothing, because I will be working this weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday, so I need to relax. Yeah, alright, see y'all at the same place. Spanga. Spanga is fitness uncomplicated welcome to an unrivaled fitness experience it's you versus you shut up legs write it like you stole it just keep on spinning don't wish for a work for it what does um is this like an acronym for something yes so it's an anagram off of spin strength yoga so sp is spin you get a strength and ga of yoga okay spanga <laughs> Eight sets total. So you're going to have four sets of each, and you're all three out of the Now we're hitting the yoga, y'all. Three workouts, one class. We're going to start all the way Class is done. Class is done. Cycled, did a little bit of strength, then headed on over to yoga. So I had a family, y'all. <laughs> all right. Done. Sweat. Done. All right. Great workout, it's time to fuel up, and I'm not talking about mahogany, I'm talking about my stomach. It's 12.15, my feeding hours have begun. I was driving through some neighborhoods, it's always in the houses, blah, 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 there's some movies. So, I'm gonna go get my favorite meal from movies. I've been eating movies since I was, before I could probably even talk to y'all. I love, I love boobies. It's a cafeteria. I don't know if they're just in Texas. Or I think they might be. But it's like your grandma and grandpa's like favorite little date spot. And uh, I'll, I'll become boobies. <laughs> um, right. Let me know. Um, cucumber salad, please. It's gonna be for you? Yes, for here. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Doing okay, thank you. Uh, Enjoy. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm gonna stop right here because I always get the fried fish. I always get the same thing. This is except for this cucumber salad. I was just filling it today. Hi, can I have fried fish, please? No tartar, no. Yummy. Hi, can I have corn and macaroni and cheese? Oh, thank you. I'm good. How are you? Like yes, I'll have a um, white roll. White roll? Yeah, you can give me that big one right there in the middle. This right <laughs> yep. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. You as well. 
when I used to come here with my daddy, we used to always get a little vanilla cheesecake with a little strawberry sauce on top. But I ain't gonna do it to myself, y'all. This is already <laughs> enough food. All right, time to eat, y'all. Uh, this is like nostalgia for me. But I do this. I think I eat at Louie's at least once a month. <laughs> All right, lunchtime. All right, came all the way up to Magnolia, Texas. I say it like it's in the boondocks, but it is 30 minutes away, 25, to see my mother. And now, because she's leaving to go to Jamaica this weekend. So I think we're going to go eat so we can have a little bonding time before she leaves. I think she's leaving for like a week. And then, of course, you know, the dog. All right, Dan Dan. Hey, Lexi's big girl. Hi, Spenny. Hi. Ooh, Espy, you need to clean your little eyes. How are you? Out, Timber. Keep your paws on the ground. Chili's with mommy. Dinner. 6.33 p.m. Somehow we've ended up, this camera is so clear and TJ Maxx and I just love these little shoes I'm not gonna buy both they're $30 so which color should we get y'all black or like this canvasy off-white this is the original color I picked up then I saw the black I feel like I get more use out of the black but this just looks yummy of course there will be a decision made before y'all even see this vlog but let's see. Did y'all know Girl Scout cookies are five dollars a box? Two, two fifty years. Five dollars. I like them too much to send five dollars a box. Girl Scout cookies are five dollars a box. Five dollars. They might as well just start selling year round, right? When she was selling them. It was two fifty. Yeah, we sold a whole bunch. Five dollars. That's a lot. When was I selling Girl Scout cookies? When did I get out of Girl Scouts? I don't know. Right before you went to like fifth, sixth grade, seventh, eighth, something like that. Where are they? Five dollars. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday. Feels like it took all week to get to Friday. <laughs> it was just a long week, okay? It's Friday, finally, 7.56 in the morning. Uh, I woke up, well, I had the intent this week to work out four days this week. But after that workout yesterday, my body is telling me to sit down somewhere. Um, but I'm not fully convinced I should sit down somewhere yet. So I decided to just hop on my computer and do some work a little bit. And then maybe I'll go to the gym a little later. But knowing me, I probably won't. So we're just going to say we're not going to work out this morning. Um, I really need to clean up around this house. As y'all can see, my shoe rack. From the last time I told y'all about this shoe rack, falling months ago, it hadn't fell. And then timbered. So... It's been there for a couple of days because so I've just been discouraged about it. But I'm going to get my life together today around here um, and put and just, you know, make this place look livable and uh, presentable, really, more so than anything. Um, yeah, that's it. We don't really have much to do today, so that's always nice, but it's still a work. Change of plans, found some motivation, but I'm not going to go to Hotworks. I'm just going to go to the um, complex gym, get on the treadmill, and uh, watch Grey's Anatomy, and walk it out. And there's my workout for the day. Yay. All right, y'all, we are out of the house. We are headed to meet Mother so she can get a new phone. Yesterday, she was complaining that the battery on her phone dies extremely quickly. Um, she has a Samsung something, I don't know, but she asked me to go to the phone store with her this morning and I hope she knows that means I'm going to be pushing, pushing and convincing her to get an iPhone, 
because look, I get so frustrated when she asks me to help her to do things with that phone and I'm like I don't even know how to use this thing I don't even know what this is but anywho I am hungry this morning y'all um I did some sprints on the treadmill and I think that got me hungry so I can eat in 30 minutes or so but in the meantime I've made some tea because at least I can have some tea and hopefully that'll hold me over for the next it's 10 53 I can eat at 11 30 so and I'm going to eat okay and my shirt I keep I haven't done any um OOTDs for y'all but my shirt says I'm a 90s fashionista I just have on some denim white shirt white denim jacket black hat keeping it just you know just I'll be chilling y'all y'all know y'all know y'all know how I do and I have on my um my comfortable uh Nikes my Nike Cocos, the Serena ones that I showed y'all a while back. But if I remember, I'll give y'all a full little look. But then, you know, it ain't nothing. Just a little, a little casual, a little something. Anyways, yeah. Let's Lunch with mom. What? The cauliflower? Pizza. I'm gonna have a salad. Okay. I've never actually had mod. This is, that looks healthy, Lex. Mm-hmm. Okay, broccoli. Blend. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Pizza? Mod pizza. It looks yummy. Alright, y'all. I'm done with mommy. Now I'm working. This is why I need two phones so I can vlog and do this for y'all. Hello. How are you? Okay, here we go. Hey. Alright. So this is, all right y'all, uh, it is lunch slash dinner time, 4.45. I'm at Crab Station waiting for Kieran and Kevin and the kids, and we're gonna eat. Give me the roof, baby. Baby, I heard you. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to wear. So jeans, little pink bodysuit, and this little crop blazer it is. Um, and yeah, this should be a good baby shower. A lot of my friends will be there, and I haven't seen them in a while, so I'm excited for this. All right, y'all. I'm gonna enjoy my tunes while I drive. See y'all when we get there. Sunday morning. I was a bad vlogger yesterday. I didn't do very well. Look who's here. It's Ziggy. Ziggy! <laughs> um, I don't know if I mentioned in this vlog or not, but my mother and her siblings have went to Jamaica. So 
I am left here to babysit the ziggers. Um, well, really, just for the night. So I went and picked him up last night. He's like, he's the worst, y'all. He's the same age as Aspen, so he's like 10, 11, 12-ish, around that. And he still runs away. Like, it makes you chase him. So I went and picked him up yesterday. And I'm just so used to my dogs, like, following directions for the most part. Let him out the house, open the car door, think he's going to hop in the car and let's go like Aspen or Denver would. This man had me chasing him around the neighborhood for like seven minutes last night. I said, oh, okay, I see how I see how you're going to do. So his babysitter actually gets back in town today. So I will be dropping him off to his babysitter um, either later on today or maybe tomorrow. Just depends on how my day flows. But right now, um, I told y'all my room has been a mess. Y'all know this shoe thing fell over again. So I was currently like trying to get all of this together. I need to make my bed, put up clothes, all that stuff. But I also need to go to work. It's like 11 o'clock right now. And I'm hosting an open house this Sunday, which has nothing to do with regular life vlog. That's all real estate vlog. But I'm hosting an open house. And that's at 1 p.m. So I need to get up out of here at least by noon. So I can, I'm going to take Ziggy back to his house so he can be um you know just in his comfort zone i don't really want to leave him here so he can tear up my stuff and he has a doggy door at the other house where he can go in and out and pee if he needs to um so yeah i'm sitting here looking at my clothing options I want to do one of these looks, you know, with the little dress with the shirt underneath. And I just don't know if I should do white or blue. This dress is old, old, y'all. Old, old. Like, I think I wore this from, like, 29th birthday. But <laughs> still from Zara, though. That's how long me and Zara been been together. So, anyways, let me get my life together and see which, which one of these. Okay, like we're out the house. And as usual... I didn't eat and I'm gonna have to eat unless I can get somebody to bring me some food to the open house we'll see um, maybe I'll just stop I have eight minutes to spare it's gonna be cutting it close I need a retwist so bad I get my hair retwisted next week and as y'all can see like new growth is growth in this is annoying like I don't know if I don't, I don't know, but I don't know how that happened. Clearly went out, but no, because I had on, I put on a little shirt over my shirt as I was doing my makeup, so that wouldn't happen. So it must have just, I must have had some residue on my hands still after I washed my hands, but whatever. We're going to go do this open house. Hopefully it goes really good. As y'all can see, I decided to do the white undershirt instead of the blue. The blue was still really cute, but I just kind of felt like it was... It was given a lot for for this scenario, right? I'm, I'm going to work. I don't need to be like, boom, like that. So a nice little settle. And I have on just like a little um, clear wedge. So I've been really bad with the outfits of the days this week. Sorry, y'all. But let's go to work. All right, y'all. Sunday, fun day is about to begin. But I'm not going to take y'all along with me. First, I'm headed to go drop the Ziggy off and his real babysitter then i'm gonna go live my best life for the rest of this sunday so i hope you all enjoyed the vlog as always you know what i might show you know what maybe not because there's this new spot in houston that i'm going to it's called post houston i really i mean i don't even know really what it is it's like this outdoor entertainment food all kind of something area so maybe i will show y'all just a little bit of that and then i'll live my best life. lulu lemon 